are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, UFC 302 was yesterday. And guess who showed up? You guys probably already know. Number 45. Soon to be number 47. If you guys have been paying attention to the political side, there was a Stalinist trial in New York City where Donald Trump was found guilty of, well, we don't even know the crime. They don't even know the crime. This thing was rid from the beginning, man. And he goes to UFC 302 and the crowd goes wild for him. President Trump comes out with Dana White, man, and it was glorious to actually watch. And also, by the way, F. Joe Biden chants started raining through the arena. Now, the UFC fan base definitely seems to be MAGA. Definitely does. So we got some uh, video clips here, guys. We're going to be going over, man, because when it comes to the UFC, man, every time Trump makes an entrance, the crowd goes wild. Nowhere in the world, man, uh, Joe Biden can actually get that kind of crowd reaction. By the way, I believe uh, Joe Biden had like a rally the other day. It was like, um, I don't even think it was 100 people that showed up. This man has no base. And Trump is getting more popular with each and every indictment. I will be voting for the man they convicted of a crime that does not exist. Let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go, guys. President Trump appears at UFC 302 in New Jersey, a blue state, and the crowd went wild for him. Crowd goes wild with standing ovation. So right here, you can actually see this image right there of uh, President Trump and uh, Dana White actually um, entering the arena right there. Um, it says here, Donald Trump arrived at UFC 302 on Saturday night in his second public appearance after his conviction in the NYC trial. The audience erupted in a standing ovation at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. As Trump entered the arena with longtime friend and UFC CEO Dana White, the crowd erupted in cheers with many standing on their feet. And we got um, a little bit of um, a clip here we could actually watch of uh, President Trump entering the arena. Now, unfortunately, guys, I cannot actually play the clip of the crowd reaction to President Trump this is the first time this has actually happened. I've actually tried to upload this multiple times, but it keeps getting blocked. But guys, the crowd was insane. The crowd was absolutely insane, man. These people really do support President Trump, man. I mean, it was just an eruption, man. The crowd was just um, going crazy. Trump comes in. I believe it was actually the Secret Service um, behind him. He was actually uh, shaking hands with the fans as he was actually uh, making his way to his seat. I mean, he is really, really a man of the people, man. And when it comes to the sports world, man, the UFC supports him the most. I mean, it's pretty sad what we're actually going through right now in this country, man. Sports is always supposed to be a getaway. And when I actually see something like this, man, it really does warm my heart, man, to know that there are people out there, even in a blue state like New Jersey, man, that really see the corruption that's going on. These people show up to a sporting event and they love their president, man. They love President Trump. Man, it was amazing to see. It really, really was amazing to see, guys. So you see that right there, guys. President Trump, the crowd went wild. Also, um, he got a, a clause, too, as well. Uh, let's uh, watch this uh, clip right here. Okay, this is a um, similar clip here. Welcome to 
Yeah, I believe this is a shorter clip. So I believe that. Oh, yeah, that's him uh, pumping his fist right there. So that was kind of the same clip right there. But right here, this is um, President Trump and uh, Joe Rogan shaking hands right here. Hey, Joe, when is Trump going to be on the podcast, man? Just asking. Donald Trump with us here in the broadcast booth. Just moments away from UFC 302 live on pay-per-view. Yeah, so that is uh, Trump and Rogan right there. But also, by the way, oh, we got a, uh, a Trump flag. Trump 2024 Save America Again flag right there. Uh, let's play this. Teammate Mercedes Lewis also in the building. Former uh, Theo Vaughn back down. And uh, where is the F Joe Biden? Oh, right here. This is the crowd right here <laughs> saying F Joe Biden. A lot of them, too. And that's actually why the um, the fighters in the, in the ring actually fighting right there. Look. <laughs> They're actually fighting right there. And the crowd is uh, chanting F. Joe Biden right there. Oh, the crowd is chanting, we want Trump. Yeah, Trump actually more popular than the fighters at UFC 302, man. It is always a major event when Trump shows up, but even more so now that the communists on the left have convicted this man of a crime that does not exist. All 34 counts, man. And this is backfiring, guys. Record breaking amount of um, fundraising for Trump after that conviction, man. I cannot wait to see the tears of soy flow in November after Donald Trump is elected. Man, it's going to be glorious to watch, man. All of this is backfiring, guys. Everything is backfiring that they're actually throwing at, throwing at this man. But when it comes to sports, man, the UFC, they definitely support President Trump. Biden, he can never get this kind of ovation. Ever. Nobody likes this man. This man is destroying the country. We are a country in decline. And the UFC, they know that we need Trump back badly. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.